welcome to the show. Corn. Corn hasn't tried. Ta da! Today is a beer day. Beer day for you. Corn hasn't tried uh, Belching Beaver. And this one is probably their second popular now that I think about it because Snake River is good, but it's their peanut butter one that I'm telling Corn about. He should try. But he actually, what do you think? Can I have a little help yourself, man? It's an excellent beer, by the way. Tell our fans about this, please, Corn. Mm, it has a hoppy end. It does have a, a nice honey flavor to it. Uh, it's Miso honey. It's smooth. It doesn't uh, kick. It's uh, what oh, percentage? that is miso honey. Yeah, that's what it is, man. Miso honey. Five point five alcohol. That's not uh, that big of a deal, but it's it's good flavor. Good, good deal. I don't know what you would pair it with though. Cigar. Uh, yeah. Right now, I'm doing an uh, Olivo Serie O. I thought this one would be so good, but actually I like this one better than the Series G that I usually smoke the fish year. You know, I've been uh, smoking not too many cigars lately, but um, let's dive right in. Let's dive right into the show. Dive right in. What do you want to talk about today? Uh, let's see. I guess um, back on the whole, everybody talked about it. I went to dinner yesterday with some friends. Uh, thoughts on Donald Trump? Would you like to share? Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a political streaker. Uh, he's not a serious candidate. He's, he's going to implode. It is a hilarious thing to watch him. Um, it's a surefire way of rooting out stupid people and racist people because... He appeals to them. He appeals to them. So, you know... People like him. I have a personal good buddy. Mm -hmm. He speaks the truth! Older fella. He speaks the truth, which is code for he's openly racist and comfortable with it. Because other politicians speak the truth as well. His wife kind of shakes his head because, you know, she's full on Mexican. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's, he's full on Mexican. Yeah. And he said, that my wife probably hates me for what I think about Mexicans coming across. I believe they can come here if and only if they do it through the right okay. channels. Right. <laughs> and what are the right channels? <laughs> well, let's go through the right channels, folks. <laughs> there are no right channels. It's meaningless. Borders are arbitrary lines drawn on maps so that one set of elites can beat up their, you know, their fucking underlings without another set of elites interfering with them. It's, it's pointless. I mean, countries don't mean anything. It's just a set of colors that people rally behind and go, oorah, oorah. At the end of the day, the country you live in is just as quick to torture and kill you as a country you don't live in. People like to talk about how great America is and this, that, and the other. Eh, it's great sometimes, but it's also horrible sometimes. And for well, it's very, very horrible sometimes. And for a very long time, it was pretty terrible to a lot of fucking people. So don't give me this shit about, you know, land of the free and, you know, America being uh, such a great place and all this other horse shit. You know, people are people are people. And at the end of the day, that's what matters to me, not what flag they fly or what they believe in, but that they're people. That, you know, it's just one of those deals. So Donald Trump, he made amends with Fiorini. Yeah, of Let's... course he's going to make amends. He doesn't want to come off like a total douche with women. But... She's not bad, actually. Right. Fiorina? Yeah, I can see a hotel lobby. You know the scenario we go out here on the show. We'll do a scenario. Okay, Let me give you the scenario. I wouldn't chase that. But if I'm in some <laughs> hotel... You wouldn't throw it out of bed if it threw itself on you. She's not bad. She's not bad corn. <sighs> She's not corny. She's not fishy. Maybe fishy down below. But, <laughs> but we don't know that. But she, her face, like Mr. Trump said, it's a beautiful face. No. <laughs> no. I don't know. Right in. I, no. I'm i not saying she's a beauty queen. You do realize Mr. Trump goes home to supermodels and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I've always wondered what he's compensating for. But he can't. But what is he compensating for? He has a big jet, so if this is a... He has big houses, so it's the, the phallic thing is that... 
he just. I, I'm not like saying he has a little dick. I'm just saying what is he what is he trying to compensate for in his life that he constantly needs to Born tell us how wonderful. rich he is and how wonderful he is and how brilliant he is and how you know driven he is and how magnanimous I think he, he is. I the, think he. It's like the children thing. He wants to leave a certain thing through the through the through the annuals of history as being so, this kind of like what a clown well we see it after a while you just you ever, see, what you ever seen the shit the the his first uh, you know public interview on i don't know where it was you know good morning america or one of those fucking shows back in like the 80s in 1980 and he's bragging about himself on on, on he always has and people have well, always liked this guy it. i mean why why what happened in your life that you need to take the average rapper average um even but a parking lot peddler of their cd i'm badass i produce myself i do it i think it's, a, it's an accomplishment thing in the arts i think he honestly thinks of himself as this sort of artiste in the uh, the art of the deal that's what he had a book that's what i'm saying he thinks of himself as an artist because he can haggle he haggled on some major levels, I have to admit. And he's gotten fucking trolled by people, too. I mean, Merv Griffin trolled him big time. But he's going to leave a legacy based on himself. We all leave a legacy, okay? His is going to be probably bigger than mine. I doubt it. You want to leave a bigger legacy than him? Oh, God. No, without being any kind of monster. Yes, you want to leave, leave a bigger legacy than him? No. <laughs> Anybody that wants to leave a bigger legacy than him, three words. Fuck a lot of women. See, that's okay. your thing. Just, Can no, you no, agree no. with the... Reproduce as much as humanly possible. Because your genetics will carry on much further down the line than his genetics. Okay? So, as far as legacies are concerned, we're just animals. Okay? Doesn't matter how much how many pebbles you stack up or don't stack up or whatever at the end of the day the game really is about projecting your dna to the next generation and the next generation and the next generation and the only way you do that is by procreation you heard that here on on the fish and corn show when you take a quick break we'll be right back after these messages whatever those messages might be we still haven't got you advertisers on the side of our page motherfucking people it's a good we don't want any advertising. Shut up. I don't. <laughs> 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 